Rogers it is this time who is penalised. It's a silly foul. Trevor Stodd has nowhere to go. Jamison can deliver a mean free kick too. Came off Kemp's head and then Ogdenowski prodded it towards goal. Half a shout of a handball too. Adelaide still have numbers forward. Daniel Mullen marauding into the penalty area. In towards the edge of the box. Oh, and a great save by Theoklatos. Saves Melbourne victory. The shot by Scott Jamison. What a chance for Adelaide. And he's had the best chance they're going to get. Great work down the right-hand side from Daniel Mullen. Given the Reds some confidence, you fancy. Dot. Goes past one challenge. Still going, Travis Dot! Oh, that would have been a wonderful goal by the Adelaide captain. Twinkle toes past three defenders. All of a sudden, the Reds have come alive in an attacking sense. Evan Burgess first real involvement Holds it off for Pondoliak who drifts it in and it's a goal for Melbourne the deadlock is broken in the grand final Tom Pondoliak seven grand finals never a goal until now well I'm sure Ernie Merrick was tossing up of who to take off Nicky Water Pondoliak he left Pondoliak on Pondliak on the left-hand side drifts in, but I think you have to put this down to a goalkeeping error. I think Kalekovic was unsighted and hesitated. It was a long way out. He cuts in off the left flank, bends this to the back post, but Kalekovic should be saving that. Little back heel from Berger. Pondliak comes in. Not a lot of power on the shot. And Eugene Kalekovic, the goalkeeper of the year, will be disappointed with that. He sees it late, comes through the legs, I think, of Jonas Sally, but still he reacted late, but Ponlia claims the goal. So Paul Agostino comes on for what is the 349th and final appearance of a long and illustrious career. 20 appearances for Australia as well. Can he turn it around for Adelaide? Moscow almost running the length of the pitch. Hernandez, that could seal it. Great save by Galekovic. It falls for Pondoliak. Couldn't quite get the angle for the shot. Now also, Melbourne really trying to turn the screw. Berger takes over. Around the outside, he's bundled over. That'll be a free kick. And, the yellow and another yellow card. For Barbiero, just too much pace. Well, Evan Berger was getting away from Barbiero, but what about the chance for Hernandez? Good save from Galekovic. Here's the foul of Barbiero. Now, as you're watching this replay, there's some uh, argy-bargy going on off the ball. Danny Alsop has been pushed to the ground, and there's more for Matthew Brees to sort out, who's already shown one red card. Robert Cornthwaite is continuing the argument with Alsop. I think that might have been the initial spat. And tempers really started to boil over. Eugene Galekovic now goes over to uh, remonstrate not only with Olsop but Hernandez. And it's Galekovic. all becoming a bit chaotic. No, but Galekovic needs to be careful here. He's just run 30 metres to push Hernandez. And again, well, the referee's assistant, the same one involved in the Cristiano send-off, now's made a report. A red. A straight red for Danny also. <laughs> well, that's two big calls by Matthew Brees. And, and Melbourne assistant. are down to ten like Adelaide. Would you believe it? The two strikers see red on grand final day. This is what it was all about. Push and shove, we've seen it a thousand times. Also, it was barged over. 
Well, what's also done to earn a red card there? I can't see, but Conway made an instant reaction. Also fell to ground. Well, it's Courtwright saying he was headbutted by uh, Allsop. It's difficult to make out. Well, they're negotiating with Alajuelense as we speak. Here's Seleski's corner. Courtwright's header clear. Well, the lazily drilled back in by Moskin and it finds inadvertently Billy Seleski. And then the free man was Vargas. Ryle couldn't get a portion of it either. And eventually, Pondelyet does ever so well to keep it in play and wins the free kick too. Well, Pondelyet's done well in the end, but what about the chance for Vargas? Completely unmarked. It was just a lazy attempt. Kevin Musket's ball back to Seleski was a shot. Still some more work for Jamison to do here, though. He's on the left if Sally wanted to use it. In fact, Sally's won the free kick. Well, he also, in a good position, too. It is a good position. He might take off one of the midfielders and leave Jamison on. Is this a key moment for Adelaide in the grand final? Jamison. Not a bad try. Yeah, good try. Didn't have the power. Theoklatos makes it look a little bit better with his dive, but he's comfortable enough to hold it. He reads it. Long throw again, launched by Daniel Mullen. Theoklatos, good play. Yeah, good goalkeeping there from Theoklatos. And he's had a fine match. Not a lot to do in the first half, but two crucial saves. The better one being the one from Jamison. Travis Dodge shot went straight at it. Great control by Hernandez. That would have been a goal worthy of winning any A-League Grand Final. Exquisite control. In fact, it must have taken a touch as well because Melbourne have got a corner. Yeah, beautiful touch on the turn. Just rolls Babiaro on the half volley. And Galekovic has to tip it over the bar. Agostino. Ball forward in this attack for the Reds. Casio just having to check. Good ball in by Casio. Oh, and it's deflected wide by Evan Berger for a corner. And Agostino not too far away from making connection. Well, I'm not so sure why he doesn't get a connection. He, he should have done. He should have. Still, Adelaide have the chance with the corner. Reed's delivery and Agostino again there. Well, he got better contact on that one. On the angle, wide. on the angle, near post. Comes in, bends in low and hard and just can't get to hook that one around. The ball in from Reed, fairly flat. Well, this may well be the Reds' last chance. Some would say they've done it off to earn a draw. Melbourne would disagree. And there's more shenanigans going on. Well. Roddy Vargas has been sent from the field because of blood coming out of his cut. Well, that's not a very good timing for, for Melbourne victory. Hence his frustration. So, Melbourne down to nine just for the moment. They've survived that. That's a very heavy challenge by Seleski, but the final whistle has blown, and Melbourne Victory have won the A-League Championship for a second time. The home faithful can now proclaim victory is ours. They've completed the Triple Crown, pre-season cup, Premier's plates, and now the grand final in one season. The antagonism continues until the end. Adelaide, the bridesmaids again, and for the second time in three years, Melbourne Victory are the champions of Australia. I'd now like to ask Mr Steve Yeo, the Chief Executive Officer of Hyundai Motor Group Australia, to present the championship trophy to Melbourne Victory captain Kevin Musket. Gentlemen. Premiers, 
now champions. Can't enjoy the moment. Ladies and gentlemen,